explicar eh, profesor Kihan de Arafa, eh, doctora Kihan es neuropsychiatric eh, consultant. She is the head of Early Intervention Center for Newborn Students and the Children with Hence Needs in the area of the New Sahib. My objective today is to spend the light on a group of disorders that need more social awareness from our community. Regarding parents, as well as uh, neurologists, psychiatrists, physicians, physicians, and all health providers. These disorders are the involved errors of the families. What are the involved errors of metabolism? They are inherited metabolic disorders uh, that refer to different types of medical conditions caused by genetic effects most commonly inherited from both parents that interfere with the body metabolism. Metabolism is a complex set of chemical reactions that our body uses to maintain life, including energy production. Special enzymes break down food for certain uh, chemicals so the body can use them right away for fuel or store them. Also, certain chemical processes break down substances that the body no longer needs. When these chemical processes do not work properly, Due to the body unable to properly metabolize, break down, or synthesize certain important substances in the body. Metabolic disorder occurs. Inherited metabolic disorders fall into different categories depending on the specific substance and whether it is up in harmful amounts because it cannot be broken down or it is too few. The poor metabolic dysfunction can cause uh, progressive and permanent damage body, causing accumulation of the cell in body, levels of the body, like the lactosin, or non-toxic, but with side metabolites, like phenylketonol. Or non-toxic, with no side metabolites, but stored like stored disease. Or depriving the body of essential substances such as amino acids needed to support specific functions. Fighting other metabolic processes. In both areas of metabolism, are very rare, but collectively they account for a significant disease. <laughs> Many in both areas of metabolism are fatal in infancy or childhood. Others uh, may progress quite uh, slowly. Allowing patients to live to adulthood. When the suspect involved errors of metabolism. In most cases, within a few days or weeks after birth, a previously healthy neonate begins to show signs of an underlying metabolic disorder. Also, the clinical picture may vary. Infants with metabolic disorders typically present with lethargy, decreased feeding. Failure to gain weight and grow, vomiting, a kidney from acidosis, decreased perfusion and seizures. As the metabolic illness progresses, there may be increasing stupor or tone associated with progressive abnormalities of tone, either hypotonia or hypertonia, and movements like thumb tossing, deep snaking, by clonic jerks, and with sleep apnea. What are the neuropsychiatric manifestations of involved errors of metabolism? Before I proceed into the neuropsychiatric manifestations, I would like to explain first the point of view of their related importance. As a child neuropsychiatrist, I should look deeper in the history taking of this child 
to not to me such symptom disorder. I must not deal with the symptoms of just a primary diagnosis of diseases like epilepsy, autistic spectrum disorder, mental disability, developmental delay, or microcephaly, except after the exclusion of such errors. This occurred through uh, some key points, like the presence of positive family history of another sibling, uh, positive consanguinity between parents, failure to respond to previous different treatments as in respect to epilepsy. For this, it is important to report neuropsychiatric manifestation and increase awareness of them. First, the body disorder with senile ketoria, which is a real important level of disease. It is autosomal recessive metabolic disease, which may cause uh, brain infant in the developing brain, consequently leading to progressive neurodegenerative disease. Phenolic ketonuria, which is a rate in bone error of metabolism, it is a somal recessive metabolic disease, which may cause brain insult in the developing brain, consequently leading to progressive neurodegenerative disease. The build-up of a mild alanine in the blood and body tissues can have significant impact on the brain development. High phenyl alanine levels have been shown to be associated with increased neuropsychiatric symptoms. In children and adolescents, patients with benign ketonuria may have learning difficulties, school problems, hyperactivity, and attention problems. Decreased motivation, depressed mood, anxiety, irritability, phobia, increased social, decreased social confidence, and low self-esteem. The correlation between level of metabolic control and severity of symptoms suggests a biological basis of psychiatric disorder. Additionally, psychological uh, factors, which are a uh, burden of serving with chronic illness, may contribute to psychological and psychiatric outcomes in the life the lack of phenyl alanine specific as uh, a psychiatric phenotype with the observation that psychological 
outcomes in the United Economy Business Plan. Neurologic symptoms are present in some untreated patients with United Economia, including seizures, habits, abnormal muscle movement, now tight uh, muscles, increased reflexes, involuntary movements, or tremor. Sensory manifestations are too different. Untreated canal pneumonia can lead to irreversible brain damage and marked intellectual disability, beginning within the first few months of life. Neurological problems such as seizure and tremor, behavioral, emotional, and social problems in older children and adults. The second disease is methyl syrup urine disease, which is an autosomal recessive metabolic disorder affecting branched chain amino acids. It is one type of organic acetylene, which is a class of bone errors of metabolism, characterized by accumulation of abnormal organic acid metabolites and increased excretion of organic acid in urine. Patients have more psychiatric symptoms than other metabolic disorders. Including depression, anxiety, and attention impulsivity. The presentation starts with non specific The presentation starts with non specific symptoms of increased neurological dysfunction that include lethargy, irritability, and poor feeding, soon followed by broken neurological signs such as abnormal movement, increasing spasticity. And shortly thereafter, by seizures and breathing in coma. If untreated, progressive brain damage is inevitable and this occurs usually within weeks or months. Third disease is galactosemia, which also is inherited with the somal recessive genetic condition. It is a rare hereditary disorder of carbohydrate metabolism that affects the body ability to convert the galactose found primarily in just meat, cow's milk, and dairy products. To glucose, which is a different type of sugar. The disorder is caused by deficiency and enzyme that is vital to the process, to this process. When the lactose has not been broken down and digested, it builds up in the tissue and the blood in large amount. Its byproduct also builds in large amount. Early diagnosis and treatment with a lactose restricted diet is absolutely essential to avoid. Profound intellectual disabilities. If galactosemia uh, is not treated, it may be life threatening due to accumulation of large amount and uh, its metabolites in blood, which are poisonous to the flesh. Lipid storage diseases or difficulties are also a group of inherited metabolic disorder in which harmful amounts of fatty materials accumulate in various cells and tissue in the body. People with these disorders either do not produce enough of one of the enzymes needed to break down lipids, or they produce enzymes that don't work properly. Excessive storage of fats can cause permanent cellular and tissue damage, especially in the brain, peripheral nervous system, liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Lipid storage disease in neuropathetic manifestation are classified into lipidosis affecting white matter and lipidosis affecting gray matter. Lipidosis affecting white matter include metachromatic leukodystrophy, uh, which is a hereditary genetic disorder that causes fatty substances, especially lipids, to build up in the cells, in the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. This build up is caused by deficiency of enzyme that break down lipids called sulfatides. Damage to the protective myelin covering. Of the nerve present in progressive working of the brain and nervous system function, causing uh, loss of ability to detect sensation, 
larger uh, intellectual thinking and learning skills, loss of motor skills, sleep rigid muscles, loss of legend and bowel function, seizures, emotional and behavioral health. Psychiatric symptoms include complete uh, include complex auditory hallucination and bizarre visuals, which are a prominent feature of metachromatic view condition. Metachromatic view of this movie, uh, in short, uh, is three types, sleep infantile, and juvenile, and other form. The second is pneumatic disease, also which is a hereditary genetic born metabolic disease that affects the body's ability to metabolize cholesterol and lipids, resulting in build up of fat in cells. It is an isosomal storage disorder that presents with a spectrum of neuropsychiatric clinical manifestation from infancy and childhood or in early or mid adulthood. Uh, Neumatic uh, signs and symptoms include clumsiness and typical throbbing, excessive muscle contractions, sleep disturbances, and difficulty in swallowing. It has also uh, uh, three types E, D, and C. Uh, people with type C, especially, may not experience any symptoms until adulthood, but when they start to manifest, they show progressive neurological symptoms, including ataxia, dystonia, vertical base palsy, leading to uh, inability to look up and down, difficulty in walking and swallowing. Uh, third is Rocher disease, caused by deficiency of the enzyme. Cerebrosides, fatty material can collect in brain, skin, liver, kidney, lungs, and bone marrow. It also has uh, three types. Uh, type one, uh, the brain is not affected in that type, but type two and type three, the brain is much more affected. Health neurodystrophy, uh, it is also inherited as a personal recessive trait. This metabolic disorder is characterized by progressive neurological dysfunction, such as intellectual disability and paralysis of certain facial muscles, which is called pseudobarbar pulse. Other symptoms include feeding difficulties, unexplained crying, extreme irritability, decline in alertness, delay in, in developmental milestones. Stiff's disease is heavy disease, characterized by burning pain in arm and leg. And further disease, uh, which is characterized by a combination of fatty material in the joint, tissues, and central nervous system. Epidosis affecting white matter include uh, a group of disorders called gangliosidosis, which are two types. The second type, uh, the third type, uh, especially, has uh, two uh, underlying diseases. Which are called Tyson disease and Sandhog disease. And, uh, another group is mucopolysaccharidosis, uh, which is also uh, different types. The most important are Herner Shy disease, uh, which is characterized by communicating hydrocephalus and conversion, skeletal abnormality, and cognitive impairment. And another disease is sensitive disorder, which is a progressive disorder that affects the brain and spinal cord and also characterizes in autistic kids. Hunter disease, which is characterized by cervical myelopathy, cervical lumbar neurosis, tongue like vertebrae. Another group is mitochondrial diseases, uh, which are much organ system disorders and the brain is the most common affected organ. Common traits and features of mitochondrial disorder include ptosis, oxymoplegia, optic atrophy, hearing loss. Then we come to latent disease. Also, it is inherited metabolic disorder. Uh, includes a group of neurodegenerative disorders that usually begin in childhood and affect the cell's ability to break down and get rid of cellular waste. It greatly uh, uh, affects the nervous system. Next is Wilson disease, which is a real genetic disorder characterized by excess copper storm in silicondylous tissues, particularly in middle, brain, and colon. 
manifestations in uh, neurological uh, signs uh, in the early stages of mental disease, like uh, incongruous behavior, irritability, depression, and cognitive impair impairment. Acute intermediate porphyria, it is a rare metabolic disorder caused by deficiency of certain enzymes leading to accumulation of porphyria, causing psychotic manifestations like anxiety, depression, problems, and psychosis. Play disease is a rare inherited neurometabolic disorder that affects the central nervous system. Não sabia que era tão demais. Oh. 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 Recommendations include diagnosis and screening of asymptomatic agents is essential to exclude inborn errors of metabolism. Early diagnosis in symptomatic agents by metabolic screening test should be initiated. Elevated plasma ammonia levels, hypoglycemia, and metabolic acidosis are suggestive of inborn errors of metabolism. In addition, the parent or physician may notice a nozzle odor in the infant to certain inborn errors of metabolism, like metabolic syrup neural disease. Diagnostic neuropsychiatric criteria of metabolic disorders in toddlers, preschool children, include stagnation or loss of cognitive milestones, loss of expressive language skills, progressive deficit in attention, focus, and concentration, seizures and behavioral changes, importance of early treatment. Uh, therapeutic measures are needed before a definitive diagnosis is available. It is critically uh, in a clinical infant. Aggressive treatment before the definitive confirmation of diagnosis is life saving and may reduce neurological security. Of particular importance is routine monitoring of emotional, behavioral, and psychosocial symptoms in individuals with these metabolic disorders. Regular follow up is recommended as a life saving measure. In conclusion, understanding and awareness of second neuropsychiatric syndromes and metabolic disorders is of great importance. It can lead to early diagnosis of such disorders. Many of these metabolic disorders are progressive and may have illness modifying treatment as a result. Early detection of inborn errors of metabolism is essential to avoid dramatic neuropsychiatric complications. The first step is suspicion, followed by performing routine and specific laboratory analysis. 
any management of this disorder will reduce the risk of morbidity and mortality. Role of media and social awareness in early diagnosis of one errors of metabolism. As there are more than 3,000 million people living with their diseases, including one errors of metabolism, which are a group of over 500 disease disorders, studies show that except for highly educated parents, the majority of parents are not aware of the significance of this problem related to the metabolic disease in their children. Broad based public education should be an early priority for the public health system. This can be achieved by special TV programs and through other media, such as newspapers, Catholic, and nurse education programs. These programs should be prepared in simple language and should emphasize the inherited nature of these diseases, the need for immediate referral system of patients to have a metabolic disease, a comprehensive and obligatory immunity screening program for treatable diseases. Continuous education for metabolic health care providers and community based preventive programs for the purpose of increasing public awareness of these health issues are recommended. February 28th of each year was chosen as a real disease day to shed the light worldwide on people with inborn errors of metabolism. Thank you.